Hey guys, my name is Byron Cole. I want to talk to you guys about something new out there called proximity marketing and also introduce you to an awesome tool, something you guys are going to love and that is a virtual business card. All right, so just to introduce you guys to who I am, I am Byron Caldwell, and also we'll be explaining today an advertisement that works, and it is proximity marketing. To tell you a little bit about the company that I'm with is Royalty. Royalty started January of 2017. We're located in Ontario, Canada, and my name is Byron Caldwell again. If you're wondering who that guy is on the screen, that's me. All right, so regional sales manager is who I am for proximity marketing. Um, first, before I begin, just as so you guys can get just a, 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 an, or an understanding of what it is that I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to show a quick video. Now, I'll stop the video halfway um, through it because it's going to start talking about a lot of other industries, not just insurance and how this is going to help you guys. So, um, so that we don't waste your time, I'm going to stop that video um, halfway through. But this is going to give you some base knowledge on proximity marketing, how free Wi-Fi being offered to people out there is gonna generate leads to your agent website. Um, all of the information that there is to offer is gonna be offered into this video. So you'll be able to watch this, give you some base knowledge, and then I'll come back and explain everything in details, okay? Hope you guys enjoy. And thank you for taking the time to view this short overview and presentation showcasing some of the most revolutionary, creative, and groundbreaking technology to hit the scene since the iPhone. Introducing the Royalty Gem. Created by Royalty in 2017 as their flagship product, this Royalty Gem is a Bluetooth wireless beacon that allows you to transmit your message and call to action to every Android Bluetooth-enabled phone with a nearby location on within 100 yards of the gem. Just think, that's a football field of a distance in every direction. If that wasn't enough, Royalty created two more models with the maximum range of 400 and 1,000 meters. We're talking 10 football fields. Now how powerful is that? Just think, what you could do with the gyms in a real world setting. Promote your business, brand, event, social gathering, and more. Use it to gain leads and sales, but most important, get hundreds of fresh eyeballs on what you advertise or promote a day. Perfect for business owners, entrepreneurs, bars, realtors, musicians, hair salons, models, inspiring actors, marketers, and anybody looking for a cost-effective way to get more exposure to their brand. If that wasn't enough, your gym also comes with and grants you access to Upline Network's mobile business cards. Now you can attach your gems to your card and receive full analytics on how many phones received your message as well as how many people clicked on it. You can create unlimited mobile business cards, which in return allows you to save money and cut costs. Do away with those overpriced, old-school business cards when you can get multiple solutions and unlimited mobile cards for the price of one. Not to mention with ours, you can do so much more. Add a large picture, enter traditional contact info, as well as any and all social media accounts. Create a mobile landing page. Add your favorite pictures and video. Create a gallery and capture page easily. All drag and drop and zero design skills required. You can be up and running within your new card in less than five minutes. One click, save instant to your phone contacts. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, I bring to you Uplink, another innovative creation from Royalty. Uplink is a mobile guest Wi-Fi device which allows you to offer free Wi-Fi, like Starbucks, to any and everyone within a hundred yards radius. Before being allowed access, the recipient is asked to log in with their social media or email account, thus allowing you to capture their info. Now you can retarget, incentivize, and promote your existing customers. Just think how many more customers you can bring back to your business with announcements, discounts, coupons, and specials. What better way to collect leads and build a customer database? And for those customers and emails you collect but don't recognize? Royalty and Upline Networks created Uplook, the magic search engine. Just plug in any email, hit send, and watch Uplook go to work. Now you have the proper info needed to connect your prospect and proceed forward in the best and most efficient way. Did I mention you were able to do all of this mobily? Yep, the mobile Uplink can be ran from any cell phone including iPhone. Now you can provide and collect leads on the go with mobile guest Wi-Fi. And for those that own a brick and mortar or physical location and would like something more stable, 
we have the Uplink Pro, a standalone version that plugs into your existing internet connection and allows you to capture leads. No expensive hardware or complicated installations. No technical experience required. You can be up and running in minutes. Keep track of all your contacts right in your royalty back office. Send a personal message or start a group chat with one or all of your contacts, just like you do on Facebook. All of this and you would think, that's it, right? But no, we're just getting started. That's because Royalty is a tech company, not a beacon company. Royalty at Upline Networks provides an affordable lead generation management and proximity marketing solution that everyone can afford. Hello. So guys, that gives you just a brief um, rundown on exactly what we're looking at today and exactly what we have to offer out there. Now, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions from just watching that video, and hopefully I can answer some of those questions. If you have any questions in the meantime, please go ahead and ask me any question that you may have. Um, I want to make sure I address all of your concerns today. The first three questions that most everybody has, um, and now we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi section of the free Wi-Fi that can be offered to people out there. That is, how many people have looked for free Wi-Fi? Have you ever been disappointed when Wi-Fi wasn't available? And have you ever used guest Wi-Fi? So looking at that information, guys, have you ever looked for free Wi-Fi when you were on the go out there? Sure. Most definitely. And have you ever been disappointed when Wi-Fi was not around or wasn't available? Yeah. Very much so. All right. And have you ever used guest Wi-Fi before? So that's just hotels. Uh, you may Starbucks, McDonald's those places. So to answer the questions according to um, research, 60% of people can't go without Wi-Fi more than a day. 75% of people say one week without Wi-Fi would leave them grumpier than a week without coffee. I wouldn't want to be around those people, right? <laughs> all right. According to Wi-Fi Line, 71% of all communication flows over Wi-Fi. And why do you think that is? because all of your social media platforms out there, people are not using the traditional way of communication like they did 15 years ago and picking up the phone and calling someone. They're texting them. They're messaging them on Facebook, on Twitter, on Snapchat. So all of that now counts for a very higher percentage, 71% of the communication that flows out there is over Wi-Fi or over the internet. All right. So um, leads are the life of your business, guys. We know that just like your agent website, you guys have a beautiful agent website, what it does for you out there and captures all the information um, for you about potential customers. It is amazing. But now how do you get people to your agent website, right? So you've got this beautiful tool. You've got it right here beside you, but you cannot get it out there to people. You would have to have a search engine. You would have to have Google. You would have to have something and spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to make your agent website be exposed to people out there, right? But now I'm going to tell you how you can have access to information and to tools that's going to be able to broadcast your agent website to thousands of people every single day. So in doing that, leads are the life of your business. One of the biggest elements to a successful business is the generation of new leads. If you fail to get new leads, who are you going to sell your goods and services to? And if you do not have consumers or customers, how is your business going to make it? If you do not have leads, if you do not have advertisement, if you do not have people out there that know about what you do, your business is going down, right? So the only way you can have success is meant to drive people to you, to your agent website, to your information so they can contact you, all right? So in doing so, we have one thing, which is our royalty gym. This mobile gym, the first gym I'm gonna talk about, is a small device that you can take anywhere with you and it works just like a router. It works just like the Starbucks free Wi-Fi. You can change that SSID and an SSID is the information that shows up on your phone when you search for a Wi-Fi. It can say my house, it can say the church, it can say Walmart, it can say Starbucks, or it can say free Wi-Fi. You have the capability to change that information as often as you want, as many times as you want, to capture the attention of those people that would be logging into your free Wi-Fi. So if I was going to a, new, to a Toby Keith concert, I would put on my SSID before I walked in the gate, and I had this in my pocket, advertising free Wi-Fi, Toby Keith Concert, free Wi-Fi. 
That's going to cause people that's there to think, hey, they paid their ticket to get in. Now they have access to free Wi-Fi. This is going to give them the capability to log in. Now, once they log in, what happens? First off, let me tell you, who does this reach? This reaches to everybody that has a Wi-Fi enabled device. So if it's a cell phone, an iPhone, a Droid, a Windows phone, a Blackberry, regardless of what it is, if it's a laptop, if it's a tablet, if it's an iPad, regardless of what it is, if it's a Wi-Fi enabled device, it has access to see your SSID, and to get onto your Wi-Fi. But what happens? Once a person gets onto your Wi-Fi, what happens is they you plug in this little, little device into your current phone. Now, I do want to back up and say, if you have this plugged into your phone, you want to make sure your phone has unlimited data, okay? If you only have two gigabytes on your phone, you plug this little device in, everybody out there logs into your Wi-Fi, what's going to happen? Your data is going to go down, right? You're not going to have any pie left to eat for yourself. So you want to make sure that you have unlimited data so that you're able to broadcast that data and share it with people around you. Your free Wi-Fi network appears on every iPhone, Android, tablet, laptop within a maximum range of 100 yards. You automatically collect contact information from everyone that logs into your device. So when they log on, to your free Wi-Fi, they'll be carried to a landing page. That landing page, just like when you log into a hotel and it asks you your room number and your last name before you can access the internet, you must put in that information. This as well will ask for some information. It's gonna ask for your email address. It's gonna ask for your social media login. So you can log in several different ways. You can even use LinkedIn to log in, but any of those ways you get to pick how you want your potential consumers and customers to log in. Once they log in, you're capturing their information. Now you're not capturing passwords, you're not capturing any information so you can have access into their information. You're just getting their contact information, so their email address, and that's the only information that you're gaining from this information. But the coolest thing about it is once you do gain access to their information and they log in, then they're going to your landing page, which is in turn your what? Your agent, agent website. Agent website. So this is driving traffic to your agent website. All right. So Uplink Pro, this device is not a mobile device like the other device I mentioned. This device works on a brick and mortar. So you plug this little router into your current internet that you have, like at a restaurant, at a home, um, anything like that, and then it's going to broadcast your free Wi-Fi. So it's not a mobile device, it's a stationary device. All right. So um, how it works, just like the other device, it's going to be able to have access um, to the internet, gives you all the same capabilities as the mobile device, it's just a stationary device. All right. Still works 100 yards or one football field around the unit. All right, so the Uplink technology, you can instantly create and name your own free guest Wi-Fi hotspot or your SSID. You have your guests log in with a social media account or their email address, and you have your guests land on your page, which is your agent website, and effortless lead generation, so you're driving people to that location. All right, so... Um, to tell you a little bit more about our gyms and what our gyms have to offer for potential customers or consumers out there, um, these questions are the questions that we are asked most commonly. If you have any other questions right now before I dive into this, do you guys have any questions as far as the uplink technology, what it has to offer? No questions? I've covered all of it well? That's great. Awesome, awesome. All right, so to talk about the gyms and how that information can help you guys, these are the three questions that most everybody asks, and those questions are, how many people have Android phones? Because we know that these little devices are going to work only on Android phones, right? So how many people have Android phones? How often do people look at their phones? And how often do people check their notifications? So now we're going to explain that according to research. Android accounts for 67% of the U.S. phone activations from April to June 2017. Up to 63% in the same quarter from last year, and iOS, which is Apple activations, dropped from 32% to 31% in that stretch. So Android dominates the global market with a whopping 87%, while iOS or Apple comes into a distant second at 12%. I will tell you guys just a little insight about myself. For eight years, I owned eight 
real funny and ironic that it's eight and eight, but eight Verizon wireless stores. Those eight stores that I had, I had to have a way more inventory in Androids than I did with iPhones. The reason for that is there's way more people out there that want to have access to free platforms. On an Android device, you have free platforms. What that means, nobody has to download something to see your information. It's automatically there, okay? On an, on an Apple, it is not the case. Now, I come to learn this information. Most of your clients, I would say probably 95%, if not 99%, of your clients out there in this business have what? What kind of phone? Android. Android phones, and that's simply because y'all are dealing with a market that does, a lot of times, do have social security, they have a supplemental income, some way that um, they have, and they receive a phone free from the government. The government does not give out iPhones because they're way more expensive. I know, right? And it's crazy. But now the reason for that, I will tell you again, to tell you about my expertise and where I came from and my experience, Having eight Verizon wireless stores, the reason why those Apple iPhones were more expensive than the Droid phones is because of all of the added things I had to do to carry an iPhone from a higher insurance premium to tons of displays, things that they required me to do, I had to then pass that cost on to who? To you, the, the customer. So that's why those, char those prices are way more expensive. So. Um, According to pin down the exact figure on how much time people spend on their mobile phones in 2017, but simply answer it is over four hours a day. So if you can press and compile all of the times that you spend on your phone, you are spending a whopping four hours a day on your phone. That's kind of crazy, right? Looking at the next thing, according to Fleury, which is a um, national research agency, the average person checks his or her notification approximately every 12 minutes. Latanya, you are a Droid user. How often do you pull down the notifications on your phone? Every three seconds. <laughs> every three <laughs> seconds. All right, so a lot of times people are checking those notifications. Um, a person that has a Droid or tend to constantly pull down those notifications. They may pull down their notifications, lay their phone down. Pick up their phone, look down the notifications, lay it down. But if they pick up their phone, they pull down the notifications and something grabs their attention, they're gonna click on it, all right? So, looking at that, doing business without advertising, I love this statement. Doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, but no one else does. Guys, this is just like having that agent website, but not advertising it on anything, not putting it out there at all. You have a wonderful tool. The Asia website is a beautiful tool. What it has to offer, how it captures the lead, how it captures the information for a potential customer. But if you do not have it advertising out there, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Only you know you have something cool. Nobody else does. All right. So proximity marketing, looking at what it does, proximity marketing is all about marketing to your consumers at the right place at the right time with highly relevant and personalized notifications. What that means, just guys, just so you know, if you got a regular lead out there, if I went on the online and I went to go buy a lead from some you know agency out there, a lot of times that person put in that information a week ago, way longer than 24 hours ago. How important is it that when a person enters their information that it gets sent to you instantly? That's what your agent website does, right? Your agent website allows, if a person goes to your website, they put in their information, it gets sent to you instantly through an email, right? Same thing goes with our devices. So if you're out there and about, you're advertising this information and a person wants some information, they're able to click on it, put in their information, it sends it directly to you, and you can respond instantly. So while they have that emotional attachment, while they're thinking about it, they're able to have, you're able to have a way higher close rate, right? Okay, instead of waiting a week after they went to bed, after that ate, after they went to church, maybe they're thinking, ah, oh, I don't know. But if while they have that emotional attachment, proximity marketing allows you to jump in there, give them the information they need, go ahead and close the sale and move on to your next consumer.
All right. So introducing the Royalty Gym and what it has to offer. Guys, you work hard to bring in new business. Let Royalty make it easy. Guys, we know you're out there visiting clients. You're out there visiting new potential um, recruits. Whatever your case may be, you don't have time to sit there and constantly drive people to your agent website or to your information. You don't have that time. That's why this app and this service is so important to you because it's like that Christian song that they sing at my church. He's working when I don't even see him working. He's moving when I don't even know he's moving. That's exactly what this app does for you. It's, it's working when you don't even know it's working. It's working out there for you. Okay, so as you can see over here on this side, if you're wondering how does this look on your website or how does this look on a mobile device, you've got the device. How is it being broadcasted? This is the pull down or the notification bar that you pull down on an Android device. You can see right here there's a section that says nearby. That nearby section is where your tagline or your information is going to be broadcasted. So I want something that's going to captivate the, the eyes of my potential consumers, right? So whatever I put there is going to depend if they click on it or not. Would you click on your information? You need to always have that in your mind. That's why I always say, if I'm going to the Saints game, I'm going to say, attention, Saints fans, click here. That's what I'm going to put there because if I was at the Saints game and I pulled down my notification and I've seen that, I'm going to click on it, right? So you don't want something generic. You want this to change all the time. People say, hey, what works for you? What works for me? I can't tell you that because I'm always on the go. If I'm in a neighborhood, if I'm in a neighboring city, if I'm wherever, if I'm at Target, I'm going to say, attention, Target customers nearby, click here. Because you want to drive as many people and get as many eyes on your agent website, on your information. That's how you're going to drive leads. All right, so guys, looking at this, you definitely, how it works is we give you a tiny device called a Royalty Gym. You decide the promotional message you want to broadcast, and the Royalty Gym sends your message to every Android smartphone as long as Bluetooth and locations are turned on. So how many Android devices out there have their Bluetooth on? National average says 80% of the people out there that has an Android phone has their Bluetooth and their locations on because, number one, they want to get into a vehicle, and when they jump in the driver's seat, they want the Bluetooth-enabled device to be able to work. They don't want to have to, to pull over to enable it to be able to drive and talk at the same time, <coughs> especially with the no texting and no driving and all those laws that are now in place. The other thing is because of locations. I know for sure, myself, I can't even drive to McDonald's without having something tell me to turn right and turn left. So locations definitely is always on as well. All right, so these are the three gems that we have to offer, just like I showed you recently. This one is the keychain. Now, the keychain changed a little bit as far as what it looks like. Um, we went with a more durable um, uh, keychain, and that's simply because, uh, like I said, a lot of times people were dropping it, the battery would fall out, they would never see the battery, and then they would say their keychain was not working. The new keychains that we have are very durable. In fact, I believe that they're indestructible. I don't think you could destroy this thing if you had to. Um, it is completely waterproof, so you can put it anywhere you could imagine. So that means throwing it under a funeral home or, or um, throwing it into a, a, a graveyard urn. Um, whatever you want to do with the thing, you can do it, and it's for, good for two years. Okay, So it's indestructible, two years, it's good to go, and it is waterproof, like I said. The other device that I have now, the, the keychain is 100 yards or it goes a um, one football field in, in you know proximity around you. The um, key or the hockey pocket, this one is a maximum of 400 yards. This one does operate with two AA batteries and it's going to last around 18 months. Those batteries are good for 18 months, all right? So um, that's 400 yards or how many football fields? Four, four football fields. The next device that we have is a USB device. The USB device gives you an average range of around a thousand meters or a thousand yards or 10 football fields. Now, this being a USB device, it can plug into several different things to receive power. It can plug into your laptop, your computer. It can plug into your block, your cell phone block that you currently use to power your cell phone or to charge your cell phone. 
Or what I like to use is my battery pack that I get from Walmart, from Best Buy. You can get those devices, plug this into your battery pack, and now you're mobile. You can then take it with you, put it in your purse, stick it in your briefcase, carry it with you anywhere you want to go in your broadcast and what? Ten football fields around you. Your agent website is being broadcast. All right. Our technology, the Royalty Gym, is battery powered and lasts up to two years. That's talking about the um, keychain there. It is not requiring data, cellular data, or a Wi-Fi connection. You just take it out of the box and you're up and running. All right. So businesses, we... Um, work with all kinds of small businesses. Now you'll see several different small businesses and the service provider you'll see insurance professionals. That's where you guys come into play. But why do I have everything else listed here? It's because simply you guys are business people. Birds of a feather flock together. So chances are you're going to know someone who owns a restaurant. You're going to know someone who owns a salon, a fitness center, a club. So think about this. If you have one of these devices and you give it to a friend and say, hey, stick this in your restaurant, stick this in your salon, stick this in your fitness center. Think about all the traffic they're getting. And then in turn, you're getting traffic to what? your agent website, right? So that's very, very important for you. Um, also service providers, personal trainers, plumbers, contractors, cleaners, food trucks, commission salespeople, even real estate industries that are looking for digital billboards, enhanced listings, and busier um, uh, open houses. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the very next uh, product that I think is the most valuable product that we have to offer. I've explained all of our tangible products but the next product is no longer tangible, and that's your business card. So how many people actually have a business card that whenever you're talking to an individual, Latanya, I've just met you at, um, at Sam's. Me and you strike up a conversation. We're in the checkout line. You seem to be friendly. I, of course, am trying to gain a customer, gain a recruit. I'm friendly too, but you ask for some more information. You are looking for a career change. You tell me several things about yourself, and I say, hey, what's next? Let me give you my business card. And I give you that business card. You then walk off. What happens to that business card? Chances are that the bad, there's two things that can happen there. One thing is I can walk away from you and after I got in my car and left, I went, oh man, Italian's going to be my next customer. She's going to be my next recruit. I love her. I think she's going to be awesome for the bit. I did not get her information. Oh my God. If I only had her information, I could reach back out to her, right? Or the second thing. The second thing is, Latanya then left, she went home, and she was cooking dinner that night, and she thought, God, I remember meeting that guy Byron at Sam's. We met at the checkout, checkout counter, and oh my God, he has this new career for me. I'm finally going to get out of my nightmare, the job I'm currently doing, my nine to five, and I'm going to jump into what she's doing because she seemed happy or he seemed happy, whatever the case may be, but oh my God, what did I do with her? What did I do with this business card? Oh my God, I can't find it anywhere, right? Because it ended up being either a little note that you put something on. Uh, you were talking on the phone and someone said, hey, do you have something to write with? Write down this quick note. And you grabbed my business card, you wrote on it, and now it's trashed, right? So how do we get away from that? I'm going to introduce you to your next best friend, and that is a virtual business card and the app itself and how you can utilize this app. So now that you have a virtual business card, you can create as many of these virtual business cards as you want. And on this virtual business card, you've got your picture, you have your phone, you have your social media, you have a link to your agent website, you have some videos about the Funeral Consumer Advocate Program, you have all of that information, including a little section that someone could fill in and put their name, their phone number, their um, email address for more information about you, and all of that information is on that one, one website. So from that, I can click send to a person. So now, instead of pulling out a business card, because I'm gonna tell you another scenario that happens all the time. I don't know, it may not happen to you, it happens to me so many times. When I'm out there talking to someone and they say, oh my God, you're awesome, I want your business card. I go, okay, sure. Oh my God, I'm fresh out of business cards. Grab a piece of paper, write my name on it. I don't have it, but you know what I always have with me? My cell phone. So now I have the capability to pull out my cell phone at any given time and say, hey, I've got something better than that. 
I got my virtual business card. Let me send you my virtual business card. It has all of my information on it. You're going to love it. It provides everything you need to know. And if you have any other questions, you have several ways you can reach back out to me. So let me send that to you. You click on that little button right there, send to a person. Like I said, you can have several of these business cards. You can have one for recruiting, one for sales, one for just you. Whatever the case may be, you've got all of that right there. You can create as many of them as you want, okay? You click send to a person. Now, the cool thing about our business cards is not just that, but once I give you that business card and I walk away, I can then add some notes about you. So here's the cool thing about that. I just met you at Sam's. We were in the checkout section. You told me, I said you had some dog food, and um, we struck up a conversation because I'm a dog lover too. I've got a dog at home. I asked you what kind of dog you got. We start conversation. I find out you need a career change. After your daughter's graduation, you're looking to dive into a different endeavor, a different career, right? So we get to talking about that, and I say, hey, I tell you what, let me send you my business card. After your graduation, reach back out to me. Here's my virtual business card. It has all the information on it. Let me get your phone number, your email address. Bam, it just sent to you. Have a great day. Very nice to meet you. As I'm walking to the car, I'm going to pull up my virtual business card app. I'm going to go to your name because I sent you your information, so you're going to be listening to my contact section. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to put in notes about Latonya. Latonya's got a German Shepherd. This German Shepherd uh, just went through a surgery, broke its leg, and um, also her daughter is having a graduation, and after the graduation, she's looking for a career change. I'm going to add those notes in my app. So I have it, right? Now what's going to happen now? In two weeks, after I've slept, went to church, done everything that I do, I'm going to go back and look at your name, Latonya. God, where did I meet her? Who is she? Bam, I got in my notes. Oh, that's Latonya. I met her at Sam's. Now I get you on the phone and I say, Hey, Latonya, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Byron Latonya. And um, by the way, I want to ask you a question right off. I've got to know, how's the German Shepherd? How's your dog? What did we just create? We created some rapport. We created a relationship. Now you're more than a customer. Ask that question. Um, where do you go in to find that person? Are you going to con are they going to be in your contacts or your history? Or They're going to be right here in your contacts. So across the bottom of your app, you have all of these different options. Right over here, every time you send a person your business card or someone responds to your business card, their contact information goes over here into your contact section. Completely separate than your contact list on your cell phone. This is strictly for business, so it keeps it completely separate. All right, so all of that information is there. Now, this is also going to do several more things. What else do you think, Latanya, I could do with this information? No. The sky's the limit, right? Right. Think about this. How about if I'm in your home, I'm giving you my presentation. Mm -hmm. We just finished the presentation, and now I have four cards that I tell you. I want to give these four cards out to who? Your beneficiaries, people that need to know what to do in the case of um, your death, what's going to happen, right? right? So I have all of that information. I can then send this information, my business card, out to those four people instantly, right there in the home. So now they have what? My face. They have a name. They got some kind of recognition. I can send this card with a tagline saying, I was visiting with your aunt. Um, you are now listed as a beneficiary. I am your new contact. I'm going to be coming by to see you. Here's my information. I can send that directly to them on their cell phone. And now they have all of my information. Now, that's not even the key thing. You ready? The key thing is once I send them this information, let me see if it's on this next slide. It is. Do you see this little thing right here? Send to a phone book. Mm -hmm. Once they open up my business card, they can click that one button and all of my contact information is this imported into their cell phone so that whenever I call them, my name is now showing up on their phone. Because how many of us do not answer a phone call or phone number that's not in our phone? I don't. You probably won't either, right? So we know in this industry, we don't normally call people because they're not going to answer our phone calls. But now, I've got a capability to be imported directly into their phone. So now, I'm not just a number. I'm a name. And not just a name, I now have a picture. 
and their phone book as well. So they're going to know what I look like. All of that information is going to be important. So you send that to their phone book or they send it? Whenever I send my card to that potential customer, they're going to then open up my business card looks just like this mm -hmm. and they have the capability to press that one button and it imports all of my information including my picture, including my phone numbers, my social media contacts, everything is then imported directly into their phone book. Even my agent website. All of that is right there in their phone from that point forward. All right, so that tells you a little bit about simplifying um, templates. Any size background, your profile picture, your name, job, company, contact information, social media. Guys, I like to use this um, scenario because we all know. 20 years ago, when you guys went to a home, what happened? 20 years ago in this industry, you would walk up to a home, usually the door was wide open, you just walked straight in and hollered, hey, I'm the insurance guy, I'm coming in. They said, oh, the premium is on the top of the fridge. Okay, you grab it, you walked out the door, and then they hollered at you, said, hey, I got you some peppers and some tomatoes on the counter. Thanks! You grab them, you left. Okay? 15 years passed. 15 years ago, what happens? 15 years ago, you go and maybe there's a screen door. It's not locked. You got a screen door. You holler through the screen door and say, hey, um, it's, it's Byron, I'm, I'm insurance guy. All right, come on in, man, I'm back here in the back. You came in, the same scenario, they tell you where the money's at, where the premium is, you collect the premium, you walk out the door, you're gone, right? 10 years ago, what happens? 10 years ago, now the door's locked. I drive up, they see me coming, then they go in and go ahead and open the door, and then I can walk through a locked door, right? But now, five years ago, what's happened to us in this industry, I say us, I feel so related to you guys, but what's happened in the industry? You now have a locked door. You now have to sell yourself through that locked door, right? You have to tell a person, hey, this is me. I ain't open my door for anybody. A lot of times you hear them scurrying around in the house. You know they're in there, but they're not answering the door. But now you can holler through the door. Hey, I've got your phone number is 318-225-1212. I'm going to go ahead and send you my virtual business card real quick so you now can see me. It's kind of like, guys, you remember the old movie Ghost where Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg and he could just walk right through a door? You now can take your badge and push it right through the door and put it in the face of your potential customer and say, hey, I'm legit, I'm who I am, this is who I am, and you're able to get right in the door with it. All right? So that is what all this has to offer. Like I said before, if you... Do not use this product and you just use the gym. The gym's a great product. The Wi-Fi uplinks are great products. This to me is the main thing. This is like buying a vehicle and driving it for six months and never knew that that button heated your seats. You learn it after the fact. It's like one of those features that are just absolutely amazing on every cold morning. Imagine getting a vehicle in mid-December and you drove it all the way to July and you found out, oh my God, if I'd have pressed that button, I could have had a heated seat the entire time or a heated steering wheel or even something awesome like air conditioning, right? So that's very, very important. This is amazing at what this product does for this industry. It is what a game changer drastically. All right, so link your gyms. This is how you link your gym. So you will have a little section right down at the very bottom right here, which is your gyms. And you can have all your gyms listed. Now, I don't know why a person would ever want to turn off their gym because I would want mine advertised 24-7, 365. But that you have a little toggle switch right here that can turn off your gym if you needed it turned off. All right, so the royalty contacts, we went over that just recently about your contact section and what all that does. It is separate than your current contacts that's in your phone. You definitely have a complete separate set of contacts. You can create contacts. Everybody is put in as a follow-up that fills out your card or someone that you send your business card to. But anybody else you can add to your contact list as you want to. Um, you can add in your current database now that you're currently working with, your customers, that kind of thing, and can all be listed there. You can have notes on each one of them. You can have um, any information that you want, and then also have the capability to have them tagged as a one customer, a follow-up customer, or a lost customer. So what that means is you can categorize or filter all of your contacts if you want to look at all of your follow-ups. You can then filter that by follow-ups, go back and look at all of those people and then follow up with them. All right. All right, so the next thing to talk about is impressions and clicks. 
get real-time reports on how many impressions and clicks you get. I know with me being in the business field or owning businesses in the past, I paid a lot of money when it comes to advertisement. Hannah, you know a little bit about marketing. You know the prices out there of how much it is to have a TV ad, how much it is to have a newspaper ad, how much it is to be able to have a radio ad. And guys, we know TV ads, are they effective this day and time with DVR and with capability to fast forward, rewind, and pause? People are not watching commercials, right? People are not even reading the newspaper anymore. So how do we get in front of potential customers and recruits? is in front of their phone. Everybody's looking at their cell phone, right? So if we can get in front of their cell phone, then we got them, we've got their eyes, we've got their attention. And this is how that is. I know in the past, whenever I put an ad on television, I would have the television company tell me, hey, you've got the potential to reach 30,000 people. Now, how many people are really reached? It was always right up in the air. But with this program, you're able to look at all times. If I walk into the Saints game and walk out, I know exactly how many impressions I got while I was there and how many clicks I got while I was there. Just like before, this is your history section. Now that's found right here beside your contacts. You can click on that. You have two options. You have shared to person or broadcast. Shared to person is any time that I sent out my business card to individuals, people that I met at Sam's, people that I met, uh, potential new uh, referrals, anybody that I sent my business card to, I can look at that and see exactly how many times they viewed my card, how many clicks they had, and Latanya, well, I can even see if they clicked on me to call me, if they clicked on me to see my video, what they've done while they were on my card, I get all that detailed information as well. So all of that information is there, and also broadcasted is how many times, or the campaigns, as I like to say campaigns, um, every campaign that you click or that you created for your um, gym to broadcast. So if I went to a game, I can list that campaign as the Saints game, the LSU game, the Tigers, whatever the case may be, walking into Walmart, um, a festival, whatever it is, broadcast, and then go back and look at my history and then pinpoint and say, man, I was at that event and got 274 um, views, 35 clicks. That's pretty cool, right? You got in front of 274 people, and out of those people that brought up your information, 35 of them clicked on something on your, on your card because they were interested. So that gives you some really good analytics so you can go back and look. I know people in marketing love that information. Numbers is everything. This gives you those numbers you're looking for. All right, so looking at the price of these gems and what this has to offer for you, I want to talk about that real quick. So let's talk about this device. This reaches 800 yards. This device is operating for you. You can create as many business cards as you want. To have all of that capability, I'm going to pick on you, Hannah. Hannah, tell me, what do you think the price of this is? $500. $500. It's very well worth $500, wouldn't you say? For all that it gives. I know the money that I spent on advertising out there in the past, man, $500 is not bad for this. And to be able to have a virtual business card at all times, to be able to broadcast to every Android phone around me with 100 yards, right now I want to wow you at only $25 a month. I can get a secondary device for $12 a month. All right, so again, let me tell you this, this is another big question, is, is there a contract on our devices? Absolutely not. So your device is not a contract. You do, it's your sign up. You have to pay your first and your last month, okay? So you're paying two months of service plus a $30 activation fee plus $10 of shipping. So you're looking at, if you wanted to order this device today to gain access to your agent website, to put everything into play, to have your business card, to be able to send out to anybody and everybody that you wanted to, and to be able to broadcast to every Android phone around you within 100 yards, you're paying out of pocket 90 bucks. You said 500, 90 bucks to get you set up, get you started, and then 25 bucks a month. That's pretty amazing. Looking at your next device now, we know the price of that device. This device is gonna give you four times the exposure, so four times the distance that it is broadcasting for you. So what do you think? You know this is 25 bucks a month. How much do you think this is? 90. 90 bucks, very good answer, very good um, guess, but we're talking about only 35 bucks, guys. 
Same thing goes, you pay in your first month, your second month, or your last month, you got 400 range, unlimited amount of business cards, unlimited amounts of messages that you're sending out to people. All of that, including your $30 activation fee, you can get into this unit, have it shipped to you. Less than a week, you can have it in your possession. Start using the business cards today for only $110 and then only $35 a month. Imagine the exposure you can gain from having this device. Looking at your next device, this one is the USB. Now this one gets 10 times the exposure as the first keychain that we talked about. So this goes 10 business cards, having the same access to everything out there, including those unlimited business cards, unlimited messaging, and be able to broadcast to a thousand yards around you. What do you think the price of this one is, Anna? What do you think the price on this one is? I'm going to stay at 90. Stay at 90? Mm -hmm. Hannah, can I wow you at 45? Wow. 45 bucks a month. Secondary units are um, 22, so almost half the price. So I can get two of those and pay only 22 for my second device. Now, there is one difference with the USB device. That USB device is the only one that does have a higher activation fee because of the distance that it's able to broadcast. You're looking at a $75 activation fee. So your upfront um, price or your upfront cost on this device is a little bit higher than the other devices, but you're getting 10 times the exposure. Still, it's only 45 bucks a month. So that's a, a huge, huge amount of advertising for 45 bucks a month. It's pretty, pretty great. All right, so looking at your um, Uplink mobile device, so Hannah, let's talk about that. So that little device over there that I've got in the window that's advertising free Wi-Fi that you're able to plug in, you're able to not be limited to just Androids, you're able to send that out to any Wi-Fi enabled device out there. How much do you think that little device in the window is going to cost you per month to be able to have that access to go anywhere you want to and be able to broadcast your Wi-Fi? I would say $150. $150 a month. It's a very good, very good guess. Can I wow you at $35? Oh, wow. <laughs> so $35 <laughs> a month. Now, this is $30 activation fee. The same thing applies for this as it does the other units. You've got your first and your last month subscription. But imagine sticking this or taking this in your pocket and going to events, um, going to shopping venues, going to different areas and being able to capture all those emails and then going home, creating an email broadcast and broadcasting back out to all of those people. That's pretty amazing. Or taking their email address and Latoya, plugging Latanya, plugging that email into your uplink magic tool and now you've got all of their information, right? So you can do all of that with this one little uplink device and that mobile device is only $35 a month. So the next device is the brick and mortar. That one is stationary. So what do you think the price of that one would be? Um, I would say probably close to 300. 300? We're talking 45 bucks a month. So 45 bucks a month, you're able to get that device and be able to station, put that stationary in any business, restaurant, bar, club, wherever you want to put it, and it's able to constantly capture all of the people that log into that Wi-Fi. So huge, and it does an amazing thing. And guys, it's not that $75 activation fee, it is only $30 activation fee. So you pay in your first, your last month, and $30 to activate it, $10 to ship it to you. All right, guys, so that concludes our presentation today. I hope that I have um, enlightened you on what proximity marketing is and exactly what it has to offer for you. Um, you want to definitely go to this website uh, to log in. You can make your order right there um, at home. You can make it um, later if you would like to. Um, but that website is www.ins advertisement.com. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spell that out for you guys. So if you're writing, go ahead and write down because we know if you miss one letter and a web address, you do not get to that web address. So to make sure that you get to the correct address, it's www.insadvertisement.com. I set up this uh, specific website 
just so that I can capture all of you guys that are in the insurance industry, I've kind of really want to zero in on you guys and what you have to offer. Um, a lot of times by signing up through this website, like I said, you definitely want to go to this website because you go into a special folder for me and I, you work directly with me. I am your contact. I'm the person that you're going to contact uh, regardless of whatever um, needs that you have. You've got a pen and paper, jot down my phone number as well. My phone number is 870-415-8652. So that's my phone number. If I'm busy giving a presentation or with a client or on the phone, leave me a message, send me a text. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. You can also email me at Byron, B-Y-R-O-N, at Byron Caldwell. That's spelled B-Y-R-O-N. C A L D W E L L dot com. So um, email me at any given time. I am your personal assistant to make sure that you've got the right graphics. Also, once you do get signed up, you get your gym in, I want you to send me some screenshots of what you have on your phone. I want to make sure you're as successful as possible, that you're getting everything there is to get out of this device. Like I said, I don't want you to have it for six months and realize you had some heated seats or you had some air conditioning. I want to make sure that you have everything right up front and that you are successful. Thank you guys. Is there any questions before we close? I've answered everything? Yes. All right. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.